funky friends and cool cat crafters. I hope you all are doing well today. I'm doing pretty good. But let's get into this video that I have recorded for you today. I'll be right back. Today, I had to run out and do some errands this early this morning. I first started out at Bible study this morning. And from there, I had to run to the bank and take care of some banking business. And then I went and collected all my mail at where I have my mail delivered. Since I live in an RV park, I really have to have like either a post office box or something like mailboxes, some place where I can get mail because here at the RV park they have a community mailbox and I don't want people rum rummaging through my mail trying to find theirs. So I was out and on the way home I passed by a, I was passing by a super Walmart and I'm like, well, I'm going to run in and just pick up a couple things that I need. Not much, just a few oddball things. And as I was entering the store, I had a God moment. God said to me, you have to go back and check out the crafting and fabric section. Now this particular Walmart is a smaller super center. It's not one of the gigantic ones. So I didn't really expect there would be too much there, but I said, well, as long as I'm here, it doesn't hurt to look. So I was mainly looking for something in black fat quarters or black yardage. So I, I wander or wobble my way back to the fabric area. And lo and behold, as I'm looking at the fat quarters, I happen to look up and above the fat quarters, they had pre-cuts. I'm like, okay, now I know most of you wouldn't touch Walmart fabric with a 10-foot pole. And ordinarily, I wouldn't either. But I have purchased some in the past, and it wasn't really horrible. So anyways, I, I look up and I see pre-cuts. And then on, above them, it's like clearance. Oh, my eyes went like this. I'm like, oh my gosh, clearance. And then I see the price, I'm like, Holy smokes! So I started looking and I <laughs> I managed to come up with this haul of pre-cuts. So let me share with you what I found and what, what I paid for these. The first was what we would call a junior jelly roll. Let me hold that up. Now ordinarily I wouldn't purchase this colorway, but I'm like, hey, at the price, they were $1.50. $1.50 for a junior jelly roll. There's 20 strips at two and a half by 42 inches, so I, I wound up buying two of these. Now, they're not identical. They are, I'm sure, from the same fabric line, but just different, different prints in them. But that's cool. I'm not worried about it. $1.50. $1.50. How could you go wrong? So I bought two of that, those and I happened to spot these. Now these are identical and I bought three of those. There's another one in here somewhere. Yep. All three are identical. $1.50 each. And the one thing that I do like about these is they are the straight cut. They don't have the uh, pinked edges. So look at that. Three of those. $1.50 each. And moving on, I even have a little bit more here. They had some charm squares. And I didn't buy a heck of a lot. Okay, I bought three packs of charm squares. Now there's 20 in each, and it says there's five designs and four each. And these are identical. All three are the same. Let me turn them around here. And here's the backs. And I could, uh, I could open these up and let's have a look at, at them. Now the the charm square, the five inch squares, they do have the pinked edges. But these, the uh, 
Junior Jelly Roll strips do not. So there's the first print. That's not too bad. Actually, when I saw this, my eyes really bugged out because I am making a challenge quilt for the guild that I belong in, and it's black, white, and one other color. And I had decided that my one other color was going to be teal or turquoise. Well, check it out. I, I, I was like, my eyes just went crazy. This is just like a, a dark gray stripe, or uh, striations, and I'm not going to call it stripes. And then another teal with black and white in it. How perfect is that for this challenge? And then the last, and these were placed backwards so that they would show in the back part of the, the uh, packaging. So how cool is that? I mean, it's like the right place at the right time. Now, having worked at Walmart for 14 years and I retired from Walmart, oh, what was it, like 15 months ago, I know that not every Walmart will put the same thing on clearance at the same time. It just, it's a matter of what, uh, what they have a lot of or if they're looking to clear out something so they can expand an area. So I'm not saying that every Walmart in the United States would have these on clearance. Now I did price these. You know what, I want to open up the, one of the strips here. I did price these. The normal price for these at Walmart is $6.77 for the uh, the the strips. Now let's let's take a look at these. I can get the package open. There's too many staples in there. And they are wrapped around a cardboard piece of cardboard there. Well these look pretty nice. They're not super thin. Nice selection of colors. They're pretty much the same that was in the uh, the charms, <clears throat> excuse me, the charm square pack, and they are the straight edges. Now I'm curious. I have my two and a half inch ruler here, ta-da, and I'm curious to see if they are true. They are actually just a hair, maybe a sixteenth of an inch bigger than a two and a half inch ruler. So just a little bit. I'm not going to complain. So, yeah, $1.50 for, for these Junior Jelly Rolls. Like, like I said, I know there's many of you that wouldn't get caught dead purchasing Walmart fabric. Well, you know, there are some people that just don't have the financial ability to pay the big bucks for uh, quilt shop quality fabric. You know, and having recently retired, I am on a fixed income, so I don't have a good gazillion dollars to be spending. So when I find something that I like and it's in my budget, I buy it. I normally purchase most of my fabric from online vendors because I don't really have a big selection of fabric stores that are nearby here in Tampa, Florida. There is a Joann's Fabric. It's about a 40-minute drive to the west of me, just before you head over to, uh, like, St. Pete Clearwater area. And then there's a Hobby Lobby that's about 40 minutes from me on the east, or east southeast of me here. And I just, I, I really don't like driving that much anymore. I do drive when I have to. I go to church. I do my shopping. I run my local errands. But... To be going all over, not so much. Not to mention my car is an antique. <laughs> it's 32 years old, so I don't know how much longer that I will be able to keep this car because it's at that point now where it's nickel and diming me to death. So, anyways, enough about my car and me. But, I mean, come on, check this out. Junior Jelly Rolls. $1.50.
Huh. Amazing. So, I, I mean, I, I couldn't have asked for a better God moment. I mean, I'm looking for something in teals and turquoise for my project, and I find three packages are between these. There's 60 strips here, and then I had the two packages of the charm squares. There's 20, 20 squares in each, and these were only a dollar. These were just a dollar. Amazing. And they didn't have a big selection, but I got what I wanted. So, that's my uh, Walmart haul. So again, I know a lot of people cringe at the fact of buying Walmart fabric. I have purchased some in the past and didn't have bad luck with it. Anywho, moving on here, I, uh, my confirmation gift quilt is all pieced together and I do have the binding sewn on. I just have to hand tack it down. I started that yesterday. So I'm not going to show it to you right now. I want to wait until it's totally complete before I do the big reveal on it. So I can't think of too much else that's happening. I just, a quick video just to say, hello. By the way, I'm Rob from Quilting in the Man Cave, if I didn't mention that in the beginning. So, and I'd like to take this or this moment to invite you to subscribe. And make sure that you smash down on that little bell indicator there. And select the all feature so that you get notified each and every time I upload a video to YouTube. Well, with that being said, I think I'm going to call it an afternoon. You have a pleasant day, morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is while you're viewing this. And I will see you all again very, very soon. Take care. And oh, by the way, don't forget to, to help your, home, your local Humane Society or Rescue Group. Financial donations are always welcome dog and cat food, cat litter, blankets, towels, or maybe you can make a, a dog bed or a dog, a cat bed or something. So please, please, please help the homeless dogs, cats, and animals in this world by supporting your local humane society or rescue group. All right, now with all that being said, I'm going to say hasta la bye-bye. I will see you all again very, very soon. I'm gone. Whoosh.